Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to Cloud Mom. In this video, I'm gonna walk through how you're gonna carry your newborn baby with their legs in, in the Beko Soleil carrier. And I'm gonna show this both using this nifty insert that they provide for a very small baby, and then not using the insert, which you'll do as your baby grows out of the insert, but before they're ready to have their legs out, okay? So here is my Beko carrier, and I have another video where I walk through the basic features of this carrier, so check that out. When I'm ready to put my baby in my carrier, he's definitely going to be on my front, so I'm going to attach the carrier to my hips with the tag in like this. It's very easy to attach in the back like this, and I've got this dual action adjustability so I can pull to make sure it's nice and tight. All of this I'm getting figured out before I'm holding my baby. Now I'm going to go get my baby and I'm going to show you how to put your baby into the infant insert of the Beko Soleil. So I'm coming right back. I've been giving this baby different names as we've been filming. It's generally been men, so I'm going to turn to the women now and I'm going to call this baby Isabella. Okay? Here's the infant insert from the Beko Soleil. As you can tell, it's a really, really nice looking insert. It's very supportive. It's very padded. And the idea here is that the baby is sitting in the insert and that he's in a good position ergonomically so that his hips are well situated. So what you're going to do is you're just going to open this up. I would lie it like this on the ground, holding my baby, supporting my baby's head, place your baby into the infant insert, adjust their arms, and tighten the insert. And what you see happening here, and you still might have to put your baby's legs up a little bit. I'll turn the baby this way so you can see. This is like a little seat for the baby. And the idea is, is that the baby's in the proper position when they're in the insert. So it's really very nifty that I'm going to pick up the baby supporting the head. And I'm going to get ready to put the baby in the carrier. Now, I've already done the work of organizing the baby and getting the baby into the right position. So now what I'm doing is I'm smoothing my carrier over my baby like this. So I'm going to smooth these straps over my shoulders like this. I'm holding my baby, holding my baby with my right hand, turning around with my left hand. I'm pulling down on that strap and then I'm going to attach right here. This is very, very easy to loosen. If I want to loosen it, I just pull a little bit like that. And watch how I tighten. Very easy. Now I'm going to hold my baby with my left hand. I'm taking my right hand like this. I'm going down, reaching across, and snapping my baby into place. I, one thing to make sure of, which I just did, which I'm glad I did it because I'm showing you guys, make sure this is pointed in the right direction so that you get this dual latch you don't want it to be flipped over because that way you won't get that safety, fe safety feature. Okay, so now I'm tightening like this. Tightening on both sides and this baby's in a very, very nice position. He's high and he's tight. Okay, make sure the legs are properly in. And safety features for this carrier, the same as we say with all carriers, high and tight. Nice pathway of air for the baby. The baby's chin is off the chest. He's not slumped over. You need at least two fingers between the chest and the chin, ideally more. And he should be nice and high and tight. And you should be able to kiss your baby like this. So he's in a very good position. So that's the newborn insert with the Beko Soleil carrier. I'm going to do a quick demo now of what you're going to do without the insert when your baby is still legs in. So hang on. Okay, that's important to know because your baby might grow out of the insert and then you'll still want to have your baby legs in because they won't be ready to go legs out. So I'm taking the baby out of the insert. I'm going to detach it here. Here goes my insert. So here's my baby and he's still too small to have his legs out because when I put him legs out, his hips are not going wide enough and he's not being supported knee to knee. So I'm still going to want to keep him with his legs in. And what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to smooth the carrier over the baby. I'm going to make sure he's organized now and that his tushy is below his knees. Same action. Dun, 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 dun. If you guys have watched a few of these carrier videos, they're going to be like, Oh my God, I can't believe she's doing the same thing again. But you know what? It's important. You got to get the baby in the right position. Snapping in there, holding the baby, reaching back with my other hand, snapping in, 
tightening and adjusting here, high and tight. That's the baby with the legs in with the Beko Soleil. This is a really terrific carrier. Just went on the market. Check it out. I'm a big fan. And if you guys have had experience with this or other Beko carriers, please weigh in on the site. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching Cloud Mom, and I will see you next time. Thank you.